here is the kitchen area, and it's actually really nice. Let's see how small you can make those chicken stripes, babe. We made it. We're at the North Rim. It's spectacular. It's, a, it's an seen, amazing view. I've never seen anything like this. I really haven't. It's amazing. We made it. <laughs> we are here at the TP Haven. Yes. And it's a hip camp. And hip camps are pretty cool. This one's got teepees and a whole outdoor kitchen thing underneath the box elder trees. It has five teepees all lined up. Some of them, actually, there's like this humongous one. And then like, I think four, three or four smaller ones. Oh, that's right. There is one really large one. I forgot that yes. that one's so big. And they're very cool. They're set up really nice. They have a mattress inside and they're up on... Um, a wooden patio. Wood, wooden deck. A wooden deck. Yeah, wooden deck. Yeah. And then down behind the teepees, behind the trees, they have one large campsite right next to this cute little stream. And that's where we are camping out. <laughs> Met the owners, Karen and Tony. Great couple. Very accommodating because we we have power, so we needed to get our little trailer back here. So. Oh, yes. Yeah. So very accommodating. Yes. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. Here's some things that we learned about Hip Camp. We've already talked about one of them is that the list price, which was here $25, mm -hmm. actually was $31 because of tax. I didn't know that. The other thing is really research when they say Wi-Fi. Say if you need Wi-Fi, like we do, say where is the Wi-Fi? Because the Wi-Fi is at the house and the house is like... Well, it, the further away you get from the house, yes. the weaker the signal. And on the tent site, there's virtually no Wi-Fi. Yes. The other thing that we learned is that this one, you cannot drive to your spot. They yeah. have a parking lot outside of their property. Mm -hmm. It's probably on their property, but it's outside. Yeah, all of this is their property. Yeah, and yeah. then you have a wagon, and you load all of your stuff in the wagon. It took us two loads. Yeah, but it's not, not like it's far. You're, yeah. you know... Yeah, but, You're 150 feet from, yeah, but, from camp. Yes, but so we're schlepping the stuff in the wagon to our campsite. But anyway, those are just questions that I know if we do do a hip camp again, those are questions I'm going to ask is where is the Wi-Fi? Is it at the spot where we're going to be sheltering? Yeah, is it at the camp? Is it at the camp? Is there, do we pull our bikes in next to our camp or is, do we have to park them further away and then walk mm -hmm. in? Is it, you know, it's walk and, and, site? and normally that may not be a big deal for some people on it. You just grab your suitcase off your bike and go. But with us living off of it, <laughs> the trunk of the, of the Harley is basically the pantry. So it has all of our cooking stuff and all that. So we had to bring that into the tent, but thank goodness we have the mud room for the tent. Um, the solar power that's on the trailer so we had to accommodate that get that out there and get a extension cord ran well he was very accommodating he yes. gave us an extra extension cord and he's like i have more you can just keep pulling your trailer across yeah. the field as you follow the sun yeah. <laughs> so that was very nice yeah <laughs> we're escaping no we are, teasing we're escaping we've only been here a day I know, I know. I know. so we're gonna go on a ride we're gonna go to the north rim of the gunnison National Forest Black Canyon. Yes. Did I say that right? Well, it's a Gunnison National Park. Oh, right. Yeah. But it, yeah, it's in the Gunnison National Forest. Yes, absolutely. And it is the Black Canyon. Yes, we think. It is. It's jagged rocks where the yes. earth split open and now water runs through it. Okay. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Yeah. Because so, if you put it together, it looks like all the pieces fit. Yes. So that's yes. my theory. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, so here we are leaving to see our See our little uh, Bertha out there getting solar charged while we go for a ride today. Oh, Bertha's been socking to it. Let me tell you, out in yep. the middle of this field, it's been awesome. Been working well. All right, see ya. You red eye. Uh -huh. So I noticed on this road, ever since we turned to get out of out of Crawford, is that there's lots of gravel in the middle of the road. Yes. To yeah. get to this north rim. So just 
is something to be careful about. Yeah, so the North Rim is not really a motorcyclist dream route. It's more like a destination of going to see something. Yeah. Yeah, you're not going to be zipping along because, yeah. Well, you're going across this farmland, and that's what this dirt is. Yeah. It just kicked up, you know, mud from the fields, from the tractors. Right. There's mud, there's hay, there's grass clippings, there's gravel. Dirt, yeah. Yeah, we're in going into dirt, or I missed something. Oh, I think I read the last mile or two, hopefully. <laughs> it's dirt. Hopefully it's a mile or two. All right, well, this is all right. We can do this. Yeah. Yeah, we were just complaining about gravel. Well, hell, let's just get on all kinds of gravel. Yeah, but actually, but actually I, this I find safer because it's more predictable. Yeah. You know? I can. You're going around a corner, and it's like, whoa. Well, the gravel, the gravel won't, the gravel won't dig into the asphalt. It'll roll out from underneath you. Yeah. Here, it digs into the dirt a little bit, you know. So you, you, it's more predictable. That's yeah. that, that's my best explanation. It's more predictable. There's the entrance to the hike. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. I say we park right here. Guess what we found? We found a yeah, camper's paradise. A little, a little hike for my wife. Oh, She's happy. oh! I thought you were gonna talk about the campground. Well, yeah, <laughs> Camp <laughs> campground Where? looks good, but it's it's a six, seven mile ride on dirt. On dirt, yes. and it's washboard. Yes. So. So we're at the North Rim Campground. The North Rim, not of the Grand Canyon, but the North Rim of the Gunnison Black Canyon. Yes. And we're gonna take the Chasm View hike and see what we can see. Look, look, look here, hold this. Look, look. I don't have my, sh my shorts on, but I at least have my hiking shoes on. Made it. We're at the North Rim. It's spectacular. It's, a, it's an seen, amazing view. I've never seen anything like this. I really haven't. It's amazing. Yeah. 1,700 feet down. Well, we stop here because we're freaking the cow out. You think we're? You think yes, so? yes, we are. We're like herding it. Well, I think they wanted to herd that way. Well, That's what they're trying to do. Well, trying... he's got a four wheel drive thing. He can. Yeah. And down in here is the kitchen area. And it's actually really nice. Okay. Food and cooking stuff is over there. Kitchen is over there. So let's get to it. Can't forget the spices. Now I'll go this way. Let's cook, and then it all goes that way again. What's for lunch, Chris? Sandwiches. What's for lunch, Chris? Soup. What's for lunch, Chris? I don't know. How about a salad? I bet you Richard's making something better than any of that. Let's find out. Okay, Richard. 
What's for lunch? Well, it is chicken quesadillas. I decided to to cut them up and fry them. Oh, okay. On here instead of cooking them like I was doing. Sounds good. I guess I'll uh, chop the cheese, get the green chili. Chop the cheese, green chili, and whatever else we have to we'll throw in here. Yep. See, I told you it wasn't salads and sandwiches. Love hats, green chili. Gotta love it. I wish it was a real thing instead of in a can. But it's kind of hard to well, find. Well, it is a real thing, but it is in a can. <laughs> I it's wish, a real thing in a can. I wish it was just a had green chili chopped up. Cheese. Nothing like some carcinogens. Here we go. Time for lunch. Today we are going to the south rim of the Black Canyon, Gunnison Black Canyon. Yes. National Forest, right? Yes. National yeah. Park. National, national park. park. It's a national park. We're going down there, and then we're going to go keep continuing down 50, I believe, to. Highway 92 just is right outside of the Gunnison Reservoir. I believe it's a, I believe it's the Gunnison Reservoir. If not, it's a reservoir. Yes. So we're going to go to Montrose. From Montrose, we're heading yes. east on 50 until we get to 347. And then we're going to go north on 347 into the um, south rim. Yeah. And then we've got to come back, jog back out so there we can head over to 50 again, head east a little bit more to Gunnison, and then take 92 north back to where we're staying here in Paonia. Yeah, and, and the and Highway 92 isn't all the way into Gunnison. It turns north up into the mountain range just west of Gunnison, just to be clear. It doesn't You don't have to go all the way in. It's about 30 miles from Gunnison. Yes. Is where the turn is. yes. Okay, so if we're here at Gunnison, we're at Gunnison Point, Pulpit Rock, Cross Fishers View, Rock Point, Devil's Lookout, Chasm View, which is we were on the opposite side for Chasm View. Here's the painted right wall, here. Cedar we Point. Right here. We were right there, remember? Uh -huh. Yep. Okay. Say it's a 16% grade. Because it, because it's got to go up over this little ridge so it can go down into that canyon. All right, here it is. Here it is, the 16% grade. You were correct. Look at that.
you're a badass. Get at it. <laughs> yeah, I am impressed, absolutely. Very on and off. Yeah. Stop all you want. Look, you just get around the corner. These walls are so steep. You just get around the corner from me and the Bluetooth breaks up. Yeah, I know it's bad. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, look at that river down there. And the road still keeps winding down. Yeah, well, we're supposed to go down to the river, so we still have a long way to go. What do you think? Is it six miles down? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. yeah. is this area from the edge of your tire uh -huh. to where the tread it where you you've been running on the road okay so the smaller your chicken stripe the less of a chicken you are going into a corner oh so you're saying I'm a chicken is that what you're saying well my chicken stripe is pretty big too but <laughs> but I it's big street bikes and heavy loads and, <laughs> be a little crooked, <laughs> be a little crooked. well we'll, not, we'll stand like this stand like this and now we're straight, see? We're, we are uh, putting some warm clothes on him well, in the anticipation. Let's wait and maybe a car yeah. won't pass. <laughs> Good luck with that. Good luck with that. Okay, so we're trying to uh, get on some warm clothes before we go up into the mountains oh, here yeah. on 92. We're about probably 10 miles away from the turn. No, no cars. <laughs> we're anticipating cold weather. Yeah, it's. Well, we're supposed to go over two passes today. Let's see how small you can make those chicken stripes, babe. You're content with your chicken stripes? need a new one, I just need you to use the, put this stuff on the edges. Yeah, those, those gears help you go forward. Watch out for the gravel, baby. Hopefully nobody's hauling ass around the corner.
behind this teepee and underneath this tree that you can see behind us. That's where we're at and it's nice there. Got a stream running through it. It's yes. great. We wanted to talk about a couple things. Number one, we're struggling. Oh yeah? <laughs> we're, we're struggling finding camping spots. Yeah. We did not think that was not even on our radar that we thought we would have an issue finding camping spots. First and foremost, all the state parks are booked. We're trying to go as cheap as possible. And so the, the, I think the other thing we're struggling with is boondocking. And yes. I think it's a fear, right? I think it's a fear because we don't know where we can take the bikes, how far we can go back on a dirt road. I hate to get back on a dirt road and then not have a place to turn around. We, but we have decided we are going to check, check out the we, Grand yes. Mesa area. Grand, and, and Grand Mesa has a lot of dispersed camping yes. up on the tech. So it's, they say the Grand Mesa is the tallest flat top mountain. Yes. It's 10,000 feet at the top and it's like a huge, it's part of the Colorado Plateau. So that's what we're gonna head to. And it's just a weird feeling to head out and not know, you have no reservations and just not know where you're gonna be next. Well, and we, and like, we kind of didn't want to do that. We didn't want to have, I agree. but yet it, but yet it's kind of reassuring to know you got a place. Yes. Cause you you're know? just heading to, you know, you put it on your GPS. I'm heading to head to X and there you go. Yeah. TP Haven. And here we are. Voila. So anyway, wish us luck. And if you have any advice for us, we've got the Gaia map. Yeah. We got the Gaia GPS. Yes. There's a couple places we got in the deep mountains where it was, um, it didn't quite know where we were and it finally found us, but it took some time. I think it's because it's physically using the GPS, not the, any of the cell service. Yeah. Holding it in front of me. Oh, so, so it's always, it's it's always, always in the shed. <laughs> it's a blonde moment. I was like, was that a total blonde <laughs> moment yeah. or what? Yes, it was. <laughs> okay. This is a bowl we just, that was just here on the ground. Um, it's got some paw prints on it. We think it's a dog watering dish. These are the dishes that we brought with us that we've always said, hey, these look like dog dishes. So they really do. <laughs> we went on this uh, extended trip with dog dishes. What else is there to say?